it's great to be here on a fabulous day in uh, the Netherlands looking at uh, the portfolio of Lisby and Brassica surrounded by a very large number of customers who are excited about what they see. I understand that because it's a great variety of lettuce and uh, leafy and brassica and you know, not just genetics but wonderful trait packages and some of the best things I've seen in many years are demonstrated here at this event. It's just great to be here. Yeah, for the first time uh, Syngenta offers uh, the, the new green uh, cauliflower variety is the SGC 8001 and uh, now we have a complete program of white, purple, orange and now also green. Uh, we are here with uh, 10 colleagues, uh, 10 uh, important clients and young plant raisers from, uh, from Greece. It's always a pleasure to, to be in week 39 because it's a unique opportunity to, to see all the varieties in small plot and discuss with uh, the people they have created them. Uh, Raisa, maybe you know the variety, Raisa. This is a Raisa type with a much shorter core. This, this is a cycle of uh, also 80 days, but this can grow up to 3 kilograms uh, easily. It has a very nice deep red color uh, inside. Uh. So this could be a nice variety for you. But it's nice compact inside. Core is uh, less than 50%. And 50 Breeding in Syngenta is a very, uh, very important part of the activities. We develop the standard varieties, but as well we are working on the, some innovations. So the, the latest one is what we call multi floret broccoli. This is the special type uh, with the separate florets on the, on the head. So the consumer getting really outstanding quality and a new product, which they can enjoy a lot. The growers getting much better yield and a lot of savings in the labor cost, which are the biggest pain point of the growers. And this is really a comparison of, of the traditional broccoli after floretting uh, versus new new broccoli. This is new? This yeah. is the new, this is the multi floret. This, so is, this is the current and present broccoli oh. in the market, which is we using for uh, <laughs> processing industries. Based on, on our experience, uh, it, it's saving around 70% of the time to floret uh, the, the broccoli. Because the harvest is, is the same, so just cutting, uh, but the floreting is really the most costly part of the, of the process. Well, so we have technology innovations like very full range of resistances in various crops, like in spinaches, in, in lettuce but also in, in brassicas. Then we have all the colorful, the new type, but especially also the consumer-directed innovations, like easy-to-cut broccoli, easy-to-cut cauliflowers, um, the mini uh, lettuce. So this is really value-chain-driven innovations.